This is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me again today for another demo. We're going to be doing a, another winter scene today. So using our multifarious card we're going to use our Distress Oxide. This is called Broken China. So we're going to need our brayer. So we're going to blend our ink down the page. So ink up. And then I'm going to take the edge off and that stops us getting a harsh line then. And then we're going to just blend down the card and then repeat that process. So ink up, take the edge off and again over the top and be quite quick with blending while it's still damp. Okay, so because we want to create a snow scene I'm going to use some torn paper just for our snow on the ground. So taking this now we're going to pop that round about there and then taking a smoothie maybe we'll go with the ice spruce. So just test that don't put too much on. You can always build your colour gradually. Just it's just about getting a feel for it really. So little circular motion. give us a nice blended colour. And just take your time with it and try to be quite light handed as well. Try not to be too heavy with it because that's when we get our lines Okay, so I'm going to move on to the twilight now and that just gives us a little bit of depth now. I'm just using a little. Okay, so that's our first layer. So I'm going to move that slightly and then we're going to do exactly the same thing again. So going back to the ice spruce. Okay. 
and then twilight. Okay, and one more. Back to the twilight. And all you're doing is just building that depth of colour. And by using different tones of blue, it gives you some fabulous layers. And layers give you depth. So I'm just going to go along the bottom here now with the twilight. I want the colour to be quite strong because I am going to be embossing white over the top at some point. So in order for that to really stand out, I want the depth of colour. Okay. So let's pop the lids on those for now. Now we're going to ink up our lovely whoops, fox. So we're going to be using the Summertime Versafine Claire. Now this is quite a bright orange but we're going to tone it down with the black so using one of our smoothies and the VersaFine Claire Black I'm just dabbing that on and around the edge of our lovely fox Okay, and now finishing off, I'm just going to tap the ink pad <clears throat> over the very edge to just give us a definite outline. Now it's worth just having a little practice with this on a scrap piece of paper first just to perfect it. I've done it a couple of times now, I've not done it many times but I think that's covered. Let's give it a go. Okay, so pop that down around the centre and give that a good press. Let it rest a while on the card, let it soak in. And hopefully we'll have a nice two-tone image on there. There we go. I think that looks really fab. So have a play with that, have a go just a different way, a different technique. Um, as I say, I had a go myself, had a play about and I was really pleased with how it came out so just wanted to share that with you really. Okay, so now we've got our 
fox. I'm going to pop one of our stencils. Now this is just to create a bit of a background. Um, I want this very much in the background because I'm going to be stamping with the embossing ink. So using the twilight again I'm now going to just use my smoothie to go over this lovely stencil all this detail So just take your time with it, build that gradually. You can always put a little bit of tape on your stencil to keep it in place if it moves. And there we go. And that just gives us a really nice subtle background. So I'm going to blend the twilight all the way around the edge building up that depth of colour Okay, and now we're going to use one of our leaf stamps in the twilight. And we're going to stamp that in the corner there. Just let that rest a while. And again over here. I'll just do a little more. Okay. And then I'm going to use the fern leaf. And I'm going to ink that up in the twilight again and just stamp this down the base of the card now I need to make sure that this is completely dry, dry before embossing over the top and just give that a dry making sure that it's not at all damp okay now while I'm at this stage now I'm just using my white pen and I'm just going to use this just to give our lovely fox a nice white chest you've already got a little bit of detail on the stamp to follow where the white area goes so just follow that and again with the tail all we're doing is just following that area And it really does start to come to life. There we go. Okay, so again I'm just going to give that a dry off. And 
now we're ready to use some embossing powder so I'm going to take one of our other foliage stamps pop that down and then using our Versamark and ink that up and we're just going to bob that down on one side and on the other and then using our bright white um, opaque embossing powder I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top it's a really nice super fine embossing powder so it gives you some really nice detail give that a little tap off and if you've got any areas that the powder's stuck to that you don't want just give that a little okay that's fine now using our heat gun I'm just going to go over the top now and then we're going to pop a little down oops a little down here as well just to balance it really got some there on the paper so I'll just use that and again just using the heat gun And it really is a nice bright white, makes it stand out. Okay, so I might add a little bit more depth again um, and I'm tempted to actually go in with the black. It's not often I would use this but I really want that the depth to the card so taking a smoothie I'm literally just kissing the edge Okay, now I'm going to place that paper back down over the top and this is just because this is just something I want to do personally I think that area needs to go a little bit darker so try your hardest to line that paper back up And then I'm using the black, but just a tiny, tiny amount. There we go. It's just to give that a little bit more depth there. So all we want to do now is um, put a little bit of glitter on here. So I'm going to use the glue pen and I'm going to just pop a little bit 
along the edge of where the snow is. This is the blue-green uh, glitter. It's a very, very fine blue and a coarse green. I'm just going to take that over the edge. Tap that off. And that just gives us a really nice glittery edge. I hope you can see that, guys. So we've got our nice sort of wintry looking card. Well, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thanks for your patience. I know it took a while. I hope you enjoyed it and go and have a go yourselves, guys. It's so much fun, especially the embossing. Take care for now.